You will not believe that in only three minutes, I am able to lean my abs out, lean my abs out. Tracy here, talking about the connection between digestion, fat loss, and wellness. Whoa, I messed up big time. Diminish the leanness in my abs. I gained stomach vacuuming. A try. I was absolutely floored at how great this made me feel. <laughs> I noticed a lightness in my belly. Oh, easier release of you know, trap gas, because I deal with that a lot. There was a warming sensation in my belly. This seemed to actually impact my digestion and my ability to actually eat food and not feel bloated or look bloated and look like I was five or six months pregnant after every single meal. And if I had not gone number two, you know I'm all on top of that, I was able to go like immediately. Not dealing with the IBS was great. Another benefit was I saw a noticeable leanness in the appearance of my belly. My family, I'm telling you, they are so tired of me talking about, oh my, I cannot believe how great this works. I am super geeked and I can't help myself. I just simply need to tell everybody about it. It's so unbelievable. Okay, okay, let me explain and show you how it works. You are going to inhale, breathing in, only over and over for a count of eight or eight seconds. No exhaling, no, none of that, only in. Trust me, you will not run out of air. What you will notice is that each time you take an inhale, it's pretty automatic. Anytime you sniff in or inhale in, your stomach automatically contracts. The last inhale, when we do it, when we get to eight, then we're going to follow that by a really deep contraction or like just really cinching and sucking in our belly. This can be done from a standing or seated position. You will see me hold my hands over my belly. I am not pushing my stomach in. My hands are here only as a guide, a mental guide for me to remind myself that my stomach should be going in as though my hand were pushing it in, but it is not pushing it in. Do not push your belly in. Just lay it there. Actually, do not even touch your stomach. Just put it in front of it to remind yourself without actually pushing. That way we will avoid all of that. Let me take off this jacket and show you what it looks like. Here we go. Stand up nice and straight and tall. Take a really big deep breath in and exhale out. From here, we want to take eight inhales in, only inhaling in for a count of eight. Ready? Exhale out. From here, take a really Big deep breath in as you breathe in, take and contract your abs as tight and as hard as you can. Squeeze it in so tight that it feels like it is touching your back. During this position, we're also going to be breathing. So remember to breathe. Big inhale in, suck your abs in as tight as you can, as tight. Breathe for a count of eight. Release. In this exercise, if you notice yourself caving in as you're breathing, take your arms and place them on your shoulders or back behind your head to help you maintain really great posture. Let's do it one more time. Inhale in for eight. Exhale. Big breath in. Contract. And breathe. You should be able to talk to me during this process. While we are holding our abs here, let me give you the precautions. If you are pregnant or menstruating, this is not the exercise for you. This exercise is best done on an empty stomach. You want to wait at least two to three hours after your last meal before you do it. It's highly effective if done twice a day. I normally do mine in the mornings and the evening. Holding your abs in is a really great way to get good core stability. It has been phenomenal for 
managing my IBS symptoms, feel much more comfortable when I am eating. It really helps to lessen the excess space that's in here so gas accumulation does not happen. It pushes everything away. Doing this exercise in the morning and then again at night. Sometimes I might squeeze one in during the middle of the day if I need it. I have noticed that I have been able to maintain a little bit more leanness to my abs overall throughout the day. This is a great waist trainer, your own self waist trainer, being able to contract and hold your abs in while still breathing, maintaining really great posture. Try to do five rounds of this exercise every day in the morning and then preferably again at night. Notice the difference that it makes in your digestive ability as well as the overall appearance of your abs. You just did an ab workout. You just did a rapid fire ab workout for three minutes. I challenge you to do these twice a day for seven days. Then reach out to me on Instagram or my Facebook page using the hashtag stomach vacuums for Let's share and inspire others with all of the goodness, Team Warriors, because health starts with me. To see you every single week. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's jump right into how I use food to tighten my loose belly.